So are you clicked on this video and you probably want to know which combat pet is best for you? We're going to find out. In this video I'm going to cover three pets, one for early, mid and late game. Uh, just so you can see where you're up to in the game and which pet will be best for you. Uh, this pet's not going to cover dungeon classes so these pets will probably be best fit for a berserk but we're not going to cover, cover any dungeon classes in particular. It's just the best combat pet in general. So first of all we're going to talk about early game pets. So early game will be when you've just started off, you've not really got too much money. So this pet's really, it's probably going to cost you no, no more than 300-400k. And it can cost as little as 10k depending on which rarity you get the pet in. So it's the Enderman pet. The Enderman pet as you can see basically increases your crit damage. You can pay one up for less than 5k. Um, as you can see on the AH. Alternatively... You can go to the end, kill a few endermen, maybe get lucky and get one drops. But for 5k, most people, most players in the game are going to have 5k. So this is where you want to start off really. As you can see, level 1 5k. But if we go and see like a level 100 one for instance, it gives you plus 75 crit damage. That's a massive buff to your damage in general. Especially when you're an early game player, you'll see a massive change in your damage. You've got to bear in mind that this is just the common pet when we go to uncommon. And then rare, and then epic and legendary. Obviously, the pet gets much more expensive, but it takes on a lot more perks as well at the same time. So, for instance, if we go over and look at a rare Enderman pet, which is still very affordable for an early game player, eleven thousand coins. It's a no-brainer, really. Um, take less damage from end monsters, boost the aspects of the end. So, if you have the aspects of the end, which is an early game, an early game weapon, then it goes hand in hand. It, it gives it a buff. So. It's really, a, it's a no-brainer to get this Enderman pet, especially a rare one. Um, an epic one slightly more expensive, but to be honest with you, if you're an early game player, I'd probably go for the rare Enderman pet uh, for 11k. It's, it's, and it's actually, it is a good pet as well, giving you 75 crit damages. I mean, it's a good perk to have. So now we're going to move on to mid-game pets. Um, as you can see, this pet's going to cost you 1.9 million. It's an uncommon griffin. Um, so if you have around the 2 million coin mark then regardless of whether you're mid or what mid game early game Maybe some early game players can afford this, but it's a very very good pet as you can see It gives you permanent regeneration 5 and permanent strength 7 um, And obviously with the crit damage and crit chance all the other perks if you find a level 101 The buff is insane to be quite honest with you um, Them stats are a very 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 good plus 50 crit damage plus 25 strength you're going to be doing a lot of damage and this this pet in general is going to make you a lot stronger in combat situations with com with constant regeneration and strength it's going to make you do not only more damage but survive for longer uh, so i personally still use this pet mine's level 99 um not quite 100 but i mean at the moment I won't mind an whether to upgrade it because it it really does the job. It's as it's as good as any of a mid game pet, especially for combat, by a long shot. So the pet I'm currently using, the uncommon Griffin level ninety nine. We're going to do a damage test with and without the Griffin. As you can see, I have no armor on whatsoever. I'm going to use my fist, so we get a raw damage test. So if we just find, just get one of these normal zombies over here. It's just a four hundred and fifty crit hit with the pet on. If we go ahead and take the pet off. Uh, we'll see what the damage does go down to. 224. So as you can see, it's uh, it's essentially doubled my damage. Well, almost doubled my damage. Which is, you know, it's pretty much insane to be honest. How much a pet can really do. Especially a lot of players that don't really know too much about the game. Um, pets are a must have really. And as for the best end game pet. I would personally say it would be the legendary griffin. Uh, as you can see, it is almost 60 million coins, but if you're an endgame player, then this shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Um, but people might be surprised to see me putting this as the best endgame end pet, because the Ender Dragon always used to be the best pet, and so much more expensive than it, than it actually is now. But, I mean, the money-making methods in the end of sort of, they're outdated really, and something new needs to come, come up to the top, and this is essentially what the Griffin has done. So if you've got 60 million coins, I'd recommend buying this pet. Um, obviously it gives you the same, essentially the same core buffs like strength, crit damage, crit chance. 
as the uncommon griffin, but it's the extra buffs that it actually does give you. As you can see, when you're above 85% health, you're going to gain 10.4% strength, which in turn increases your damage and resistance. So that's a really good perk to have, and you're going to survive a lot longer, do way more damage. It's, you know, amazing, really. Uh, regeneration 7, constant, and constant, re and strength, constant strength 8. So... Honestly, it's a no-brainer. Also, it heals other players when you're around when you're around them. So, I mean, this this is to be honest is a very good pet for dungeons. Even though this video is not supposed to be touching on dungeons, but it, it is realistically it's a very good pet for dungeons. And as you can see here, 80 million for a level 100 pet. Uh, you can see the buffs that you do get, and it is pretty ridiculous. 15 plus 15 percent strength on over 85 percent, and all the above buffs. So. To be honest with you, that is probably as good as it gets in terms of pets, unless they bring out some other insane update, which brings out an even more broken pet than this. So, yeah, I mean, obviously some people are going to have different preferences and may argue that other pets are different, uh, different pets are better, but I would say that this is probably the best. So that's all for today. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.